Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Shihori Escape. Shihori Escape is another game in Cheron's visual novel series. It's similar to the other ones, where it features very little to no gameplay, characters with very similar names, and a probable death of our protag. This one's a little bit special as it's the last of the series I'll be playing, as there's only the only other game and it's a very long visual novel, and the rest of the games have been translated and they're all on my channel in the playlist. So, without further ado, let's see this series off. I woke up in a dimly lit room. My head was pounding. Where is this? Why am I... Why am I speaking in this font that's somewhat annoying to read? This is probably the only Charon game that has sprites like this and not the retro old school style. Anyway, as tradition, I have the sniff skill. I have a stock skill. And I have delusions, which make me a pervert. And let's see, I can remove my ego, my white shirt, and I can go commando. And I can collect all 13 notes to unlock a bonus. Okay. It's a fluffy bed. Maybe I should sniff it. You know, just for tradition. And I go around investigating things, looking for notes. 3 a.m. Probably playing Turtles in Time. There's a trash can here. Some wadded up tissues are inside. Wink. Looks like something fell inside. It's a small note. You got note number one. I feel like I'm remembering something. I was compelled to only make one choice. Because there was no other options. Wait. There's more choices where I can't choose anything else. Sometimes I ponder myself why even give me the option of choice. If there's nothing else I can do. Maybe this is some kind of weird meta commentary about gameplay and the nature of life. Be quiet. I'm trying to have a meta-commentary. This has happened to me before while having meta-commentary. I have this ring. I got it while going to watch the Lord of the Ring movie for being the first one in line. Isn't this romantic? No problem. Can I, uh, sniff your sheets yet? I'm the last in my line. There was a bunch of other characters with very similar names, and all of them ended up dead. I think only one of them had probably had a happy ending. Uh, pretty grim. That's right. I met her that day. After that, we were constantly together. It got to the point where neither of us could stand being apart from the other. Any more notes? My sullen face is reflected in the mirror. I really do look kind of veggy compared to some of the other characters. Mm-hmm. Another note. Misao, huh? Note number two. Uh, 
Oh, there's something behind this curtain. Node number three. I even have a disenchanted walk to go with my image. It's a trash can. A torn up calendar is inside. There's a TV here. Looks like the broadcast is already over. It's been left on. Just like the light of my soul, anyway. I get the feeling that there was a funny comedy show airing not too long ago. Probably downtown. I wasn't watching it alone. Yes, I was with her. This is a very plain place. What's up? Not really. It seems pretty normal. Almost over a ring. Pat, pat. I'm suddenly hungry. I keep looking at the cups to the right, and I'm imagining them as not as coffee cups, but as soup cups. And now I'm imagining cheap, like dinerish soup. And I just can't help me. I just can't help but become hungry and ignore whatever you're saying. What's my goal in life? Just to get some soup. What's up? Can all be perfect? D dependence. It's, uh, it's actually unhealthy. But I'm going to reinforce this by hugging you. Make us both emotionally immature in the end. Oh! Time to hit the old dusty trail. Ah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> if the reason for my existence is to be your support, I won't hesitate. I'm gonna check every pixel hunt for notes. Picture frame. The picture of me, Shiori, and one other girl. Probably me, Sal. Mm, examining the table. A charm affixed to the underside of the desk. Hmm. Carpet, small note. Note number five. It's a calendar of May. Any notes here? Let me count my notes. One, two, three. I'm missing one here. Maybe it's in the next area, or am I missing it? Gotta be a note around here somewhere. Yeah, it could be in the next area. There we go. May 30th. That's really picky. I love you. I'm going to shout today. 
even listen why if my body was all he was after. Nothing in the washing machine. Except notes. You all seem to have a... a the, you all seem to have to leave notes everywhere. That's so cryptic. Note number eight. Could be a note in the toilet. Oh, God. Seriously? Note number six. Any notes here? Someone in the shower, it looks like. Let's just ignore that for now. My character has higher priorities, like hunting notes. I get the feeling I was in there not too long ago. I wasn't alone. Yes, I was with her. I don't think you should trust me. My natural innate skills are Sniff and Stalker. It'll be Daijobu. No, not really. Don't worry about that, that's just anime talking. It the old okay. That smile from the bottom of your heart was beautiful. Your pure, innocent smiling face simply beamed with radiance. Just looking at it lit up my own kokoro. It made me happy. My character really wants to ignore that shower. Anyone in there? Nope. Small note. I can't trust men. I think. Yeah, I went to before. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, three, seven, three. No one in here. Probably. At least you left them in order. See, it's really picky. It's really picky where you investigate something. Bunny. The bunny is sleeping. Let's not wake it up. We don't need you, bunny more, bunny. We have our own saves. Any notes? Juices, puddings, and other things children would like. Yeah, no. Note 11. So 12 and 13. There was no flashbacks here, that's surprising. Oh wait, yeah, maybe there is. I missed something investigating wise. Table? See how picky this is? I have to investigate the center of the table. I wasn't alone. Yes, I was with her. Suddenly I woke up 
I recognize this room, with its weird yellow shading. It's like I've been here before as another character, or like the creator maybe got lazy and just used the same image again. Stop your silly teenage awkward dialogue. I'm more concerned about why this room is so yellow. Seriously. We couldn't have just picked a different picture. One that wasn't constantly in sunset or sunrise. This really disturbs me. Damn, it's so bright. We need better curtains. How can you people sleep with those that, that sun beaming in? Anyway. My face is reflected in the mirror. It looks very sullen. Something's behind the mirror. That's a small note. Well, no, tell me about yourself. What? That makes sense. Notes? Notes in the shoes? There are shoes here. My shoes and another pair. Whose were these again? Yeah. Because you do that eye thing, and it's really creepy and not human. No more human beings. Their eyes don't black out. Why? Why did it come to this? Would it have been better off had we never met at all? See what happens when you have dependency issues? I remembered everything. Now that I remember all I had lost, there's only one course of action left for me. And that's to find the final note. See? It's a tricky thing. Well, it's not really that tricky. But it's just one of those... You can investigate the door, but the game's gonna end. So we're gonna put the final note right next to it. So you have to step an extra foot. Being strangled to death. It's all notes. Huh? Yeah. I need to get out of here. Fast. It's time for me to go my own way, and never look back. You won't be looking back, alright. That's because we'll be dead before we turn around. That's a neat trick. Told you you should have checked that shower. There's other things you can probably do, like relationship counseling, but...
Whatever you say. Arr. That's new. Maybe I should have sniffed this bed to find out the truth right away. Uh, if you're dead, then who was the knife? There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. I've made you mine forever. Now you'll always be alongside me. I've never been so happy before in my life. I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't care if you've already gone cold. I suppose you can argue he's so delusional that he committed suicide. His memories are also different, too. All his dialogues were her. It was probably him talking every time. I was rejected. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. If the final note was she was choking, how did she write the final note and lay them all out in the first place? So there's two questions. Who was the knife and who was the note? And who was the person in the shower? See, in every story, they were always killing you, but this one's the other way around. On the surface, anyway. Both endings have the same title.
Doesn't this music seem pretty familiar? You also have a yellow ribbon. I wonder if these characters are self-inserts for Charon and the writer. See, the thing is, the story wants you to think that the main character has delusions, and he and the, the, he sees her as the one eating him, and then you find out, no, it's the other way around. But then you get to this, and the other endings, and then you're thinking, no, it seems like he actually legitimately likes him. In the other notes. And you're obviously the friend, or you're basically, um, uh, Makoto Mo Mobius, that was, that was your name. Because you got the same yellow ribbon, and you're also the friend of one of the main characters. S solves everything. So that's it for Shiori Escape. A uh, very confusing game. I'm not really sure what to think of it. Much shorter than the others. Not quite as enjoyable in a quirky way. Um, you can almost say it's a direct sequel to Makoto Mobius. Uh, obviously, there's some kind of Mobius meddling going on here. Maybe Mobius just likes going around and screwing with people's lives, I, I guess? But my interpretation is, while the main character does have delusions, the delusions are caused by the meddling of Mobius in some weird time loop. That's why, if you try to leave, in a sense leaving the relationship, you're murdered by the girl. But if you stay, he was the one who murdered her. So, the trick though is, when he murdered her, he's with her forever, in a sense, like she's dead. And he's, that's a weird twisted romance. So, it's pretty much he leaves and gets killed or he's with her forever and it's kind of, I assume, I don't know, it's some weird Mobius thing. It's basically like what happened to Makoto with the loop and how Mobius trapped them together, kind of. And um, in one instance, it was Makoto who was dead and it was the other character kind of ranting and sitting at the table. Then after the true end, it was switched away to the other way around. And Mobius meddled something about never escaping the loop in your fate and all that jazz. So this is essentially the same time loop with alternate realities thing going on. And both of these characters seem like they're trapped, or at least the main character is trapped anyway. So it's not really two alternate memories, but rather two takes of the same situation. Or two loops, probably. That's how I'm going to interpret it anyway. So anyway, that's it for the Charon series. Uh, thank you guys for watching me play it. I'll see you guys later. Just take it easy.